Hello everyone, this is Miss Chapman. In this video I'm going to show you how to make Play-Doh. It's really easy to make and once it's made you can make lots of models with it. So you need cream of tartar, plain flour, table salt, oil, food colouring, a cup, a large tablespoon and a teaspoon. And of course a pan and you need to cook it on an oven. So you need to do this with a grown up. So the first step is to measure out and mix the ingredients. I've got two cups worth of water in this jug. I'm going to pour that into my pan to stir. To my two cupfuls of water, I'm going to add two cupfuls of flour. I'm going to use the same cup that I use to measure out the water. So it's just plain flour. It might be easier if I use the spoon. Get it out, it's bits stuck together. I'm going to fill up. I'm actually making double the amount of play dough that you can make. So if you want to just make a smaller amount, you can just halve the ingredients and do one cupful of water and one cupful of flour. But I've doubled it. So that's one cup. In it goes with the water. And make another cupful. about play -Doh. you don't have to be too exact with the ingredients you don't need any scales all you need is a cup and a couple of spoons very very easy once just getting the quantities right before you mix them so there's my second cup of flour and that goes into the pan as well now Next for my salt, and I use half the quantity of salt that I used of flour and water. So if I use two cups of flour and two cups of water, that means I need to use one cup of salt. Up. It's a good job we're not eating this because it is a lot of salt and it be very healthy for you. going to finish my salt. Shake out the last of it. Okay, and that cupful there and pour that in. Just going to give it a bit of a stir, get it started. Okay. And to that mixture I'm going to add some oil. Now it's two spoonfuls of oil. I'm going to use my large spoon. Just a bit there on the table. In goes one spoonful. So I'm going to add my second spoonful of oil and I just put that into the mixture. And with my teaspoon, I'm going to measure four teaspoonfuls. One, two, three, four teaspoons of cream of tartar. And then finally, I'm going to add some green food colouring. Add a bit of colour and the Play-Doh will be green. Now the last step is to heat the Play-Doh mixture so that it thickens. 
Now for this part you need to use the top of an oven, you need to use a hob, but you mustn't do this without a grown up, this is something the grown up should do. I'm just going to place my pan on the hob and start to stir. And you have to stir it quite hard and it will gradually thicken as you stir it and the mixture will become smoother as you stir it as well. You have to do this for quite a while, not over a high heat, just a gentle heat, maybe over two or three for about five minutes and you have to keep stirring it the whole time. Once your play-doh is nice and thick and forms a more solid mixture, then you need to finish it off by kneading it. Now this is something we often do when we're making bread. When we're making the bread dough, we knead the bread dough. So we're going to knead the play-doh in the same way. Now I've put a little bit of flour on my board because my play-doh came out a little bit sticky. I don't want it to stay sticky. When we knead the bread, we're just pressing it and folding it. And pressing in quite hard with your hand. And this just helps it to become a bit less sticky, to become so it's not lumpy and easier to use. And this is the final stage of making the Play-Doh and this will help to make it more malleable, less sticky and more easy to use. Okay, now I needed this for a little bit before so I don't need to give it quite as long now. So you can see it's not sticking to the board, it's coming nice and smooth. I want to take off pieces I can. Now, to make sure the Play-Doh doesn't dry out, you need to keep it in an airtight container. That might be a box or it might be cling film if you have any. Cling film is not very environmentally friendly so I try not to use it too much but it can be useful for Play-Doh because it keeps it very airtight and you can wrap it around the Play-Doh shape. So I'm going to wrap mine in Play-Doh and take it into school for the children to use in year one. I hope you make some successful Play-Doh and have fun. Bye.